So a recent poll came out, I read it this morning, on, um, you know, it was about, you know, which player had odds to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. And um, Caleb on Chase on came in fifth, and um, and uh, C.J. Henderson was in the top ten, too. But uh, I haven't seen the offensive one, and um, I'm not sure where LaVisca Chenault ranks on that, but it, it was an offensive-heavy draft, so I would imagine he's pretty low. But that doesn't matter, because I hate to sound like Bad News Baird here, but I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Caleb on Chase on, C.J. Henderson, Devon Hamilton, it don't matter what they do, they are not winning that fucking award. And it's nothing against them, because I think all three of those guys are going to be very good players. But after the shit I seen last year with how Rookie of the Year went and with what happened to Josh Allen, I am fully fucking convinced that they will never give a Jacksonville Jaguars player Defensive Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year, um... MVP or Defensive Player of the Year. None of those awards, it don't matter what the fuck they do, will not be, it won't be a Jacksonville Jaguar. It, it just won't. Like, because look, you can't fucking tell me that Josh Allen did not deserve that shit. And, that, and you know, I, I've even said this with 49ers fans before, it's not a knock on Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa is a great talent. Nick Bosa is a very good player. There's no doubt about that. But when you break down the numbers statistically, Josh Allen had a better year. Josh Allen was the only rookie that had double-digit sacks last year. He led the Jaguars in sacks. He made history on the team. He was the first player to ever record double-digit sacks in his rookie season, and he was the first player ever to go to the Pro Bowl as rookie season. Like, do you understand how fucking crazy that is? Josh Allen did all that and still didn't win, went to the Pro Bowl and still didn't win Defensive Rookie of the Year. Like, him and Bosa were the only two ones. And not only was it fucked up that he didn't win and Bosa won, but I think Josh Allen came in, like, fifth or fourth in the voting. Like, the other three guys, like, I can't even remember who they were. I think it was the two linebackers, the one from Tampa Bay and the one from, uh, Pittsburgh it was Devin White and Devin Bush. I think those were the two guys ahead of him. It might, I could be completely wrong about that. I'm not sure. But you can't sit here and fucking tell me that Josh Allen was not the best ro rookie of, two th of 2019. And not only that, it, what's even more fucked up about um, the whole thing with Bosa, Josh Allen was splitting time with Yannick Ngakwe and still put up the same numbers. Like, I remember when the whole poll and the voting was going on, and, um, what's it called? I had an argument with this one fucking goof who was Asian, and I'm only saying he's Asian just to, uh, make sure, to, just to make sure certain people know I'm not talking about them, because he's really the only person I had this conversation with, and, um, you know, I don't even talk to the motherfucker anymore, but, um, he was, like, him and I were friends on Facebook, that's where we had the argument at, but, um, you know, when we, when the post came out and, um, you know, when I said, you know, I, cause I even knew Josh Allen's not going to win, but he should fucking win. This dude fucking told me Nick Bosa was the, was the main reason the 49ers were in the fucking Super Bowl. Really? That's how you tell a motherfucker that don't know football. So you mean to tell me that all that that whole defensive line in the 49ers had nothing to do with it. Their, their linebackers and secondary with that beast ass defense had nothing to do with it. You know, DeForest Buckner, who just got traded to the fucking Colts for a fifth, for a first round pick, you know, he had nothing to do with it. Their running game, George Kittle, one of the best tight ends in football, they had nothing to do with it. Debo Samuel, Emmanuel Sanders had nothing to do with it. Um, what you call it? Um, I'm not the biggest... Um, Jimmy G advocate in the world, but you mean to tell me when they had sickly quarterback play last year and he came in and had a pretty good year, you know, he had nothing to do with it? Like, come the fuck on. If that logic is true, then 
The Jaguars should have been playing the 49ers in the Super Bowl because Josh Allen had a better year. Disgusting. And, you know, I wasn't too pressed about, you know, Gardner Minshew getting Offensive Rookie of the Year. Like, I knew he, like, you know, I, I knew there was no fucking chance he was getting it. Really, I didn't think any quarterback was getting it because you could make a case for all three of them. Like, all three of them... You know, one of them did something better than the other two. And, of course, the other two I'm talking about are Kyler Murray and uh, Daniel Jones. Like, Kyler Murray had more passing and rushing yards. Um, Daniel Jones had the most touchdowns with nothing to work with, um, the least amount to work with. And Gardner Minshew had the best winning percentage and touchdown ratio, touchdown to interception ratio between the three. So... I didn't think, so, you know, I, I didn't th- really think there was going to be a distinction to, um, who was going to win, who was going to win that award with, um, those three, because I just don't think you could pick between the three of them, but, so, I personally thought they were going to give it to, you know, the guy who was the best skill set player of, la- a rookie of last year, and that being Josh Jacobs, Oh, look, oh, look, now that I said that, all the fucking Titan trolls are going to come in, no, it should have been A.J. Brown! Fuck you. Shut up. If I want to hear your bullshit. Like, I know that, you know, they have pictures of um, A.J. Brown, Derrick Henry, and Jeffrey Simmons saved in their fucking phones shirtless and can't wait to post them and um, can't wait to post them in uh, um, AFC South fan pages on Facebook. I've seen that shit more than I want to see. Fucking faggots. But, any, but anyway, A.J. Brown was very good, but he but. Josh Jacobs had a better rookie season. Oh, and DJ Chark's the better, better, the best receiver in the AFC South now that D Hop's gone. So, fuck you. But anyway, I, I digress. I don't want to make this about them. Like I, I hate that. I, I hate that I even have to say say shit like that because you know, Titan troll faggots think everything is about them. But what? But but anyway, yeah. So I, I didn't think they. I didn't think they were gonna pick any quarterback to win it. So, that's why I wasn't too pissed about Gardner Minshew not winning. But, the point is, whether, no matter if, no matter if fucking Caleb on Chase on gets fucking 20 sacks, it don't matter if CJ Henderson gets 10 plus interceptions, it don't matter if uh, Devon Hamilton leads all rookies in fucking ta- in tackles, it doesn't matter, it, and and on the offense side, it doesn't matter if fucking LaVisca Chenault somehow puts up 100 catches and damn near 17, damn near 2,000 yards and over 15 touchdowns. They're not going to win the fucking award. They're going to pick somebody else because just, that's how they do to fucking Jaguars. So, you know, I, I, I try not to even let it bother me anymore, especially after the Josh Allen shit, because, you know, if Josh Allen got snubbed like that, then, you know, I'm fully convinced that the Jacksonville Jaguars are never going to have a rookie of the year. So, is what it is, guys. Hate to break it to you, and I hate to sound like that, but just not going to happen, guys. But anyway, I do expect them all three of them to have pretty good years, though. But um, anyway, that's it. That's all. It's your boy Jagging Off. Go Jags. Duval till I die. I'm out.